is it possible that we may be living in a false vacuum which is meta stable but is not in its most stable state if there is so is it true that such a false vacuum can decay any time such that the influence of the decay happens with the vacuum speed of light and thus we may not be able to even detect the decay even in principle if the false vacuum decays it would likely mean the end of all matter in the universe after the decay of the false vacuum happens wouldn't it okay what do we mean by vacuum decay what are we talking about uh, what, are, what what is a vacuum what is a false vacuum we have to understand this first right what is a false vacuum what do we mean by that what do we mean by 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 the statement that the universe is in maybe a false vacuum or a true vacuum we are talking about the higgs boson and the higgs field here first of all understand that this is everything to do about with the higgs field uh so we've all heard of the higgs boson right the it is completely incorrectly called the god particle there's no <laughs> it's not a supernatural thing it's it, it's it's journalists who have given this term to this higgs boson but the higgs boson is this is is a particle that endows the universe and the particles in the universe with mass and the more strongly a fundamental particle interacts with the higgs field the more massive it is and the less and and the less strongly a particle interacts with the higgs field the less massive it is and some particles simply don't interact with the higgs field which is why particles like the like the photon are massless okay so the higgs boson has a field corresponding to it which is the higgs field and this higgs field permeates the entire universe according to quantum field theory and so on so this higgs field is a scalar field that exists in a vacuum and what's a scalar field what's a vector field what's what's scalar versus vector a scalar quantity is a physical quantity with only magnitudes but it has no direction so mass is a scalar field electric charge is a scalar field is 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 a scalar quantity and so on and the vector quantities are physical quantities that have magnitude as well as direction force weight etc so the higgs field is a scalar field okay and the higgs field has potential energy now let's take a look at what the higgs field looks looks like because the higgs field has the shape of a mexican hat the higgs potential higgs field let me let me uh, put that on the screen higgs field higgs potential so it has the shape of a mexican hat so to say okay kind of you see that that's what the field uh, is shaped like now you can see it has a hill and it has a it has a, at least one valley maybe multiple valleys and so on right uh so so that's what the higgs field is it has the shape of a mexican hat now there is there could be multiple ground states of the higgs field and the ground state or the ground state means the most stable state and the ground state of the universe depends on the potential of the higgs field that permeates the vacuum of the universe so uh, as you can see over here you have two uh, ground states one one is a false you know a meta stable ground state a higher ground state and one is a lower ground state which means uh, so so if the universe is in uh, let's say uh so there's a there's a local minimum and a global minimum and the local minimum if it is it is uh, more energetic than the global minimum then then the universe may be in a meta stable uh vacuum in a local vacuum so what do we mean by all this is what we have to understand but uh, but you can see here stable meta stable all that so if the universe lies in a global minimum in the global minimum of the higgs potential which is the true vacuum state then it is stable but if the minimum of is is local and there is another minimum which is deeper than that then the vacuum is false and the universe is meta stable so uh, let us see here this is an example with uh, i think this is a better rep representation 
Can I find a better image? Let us quickly look here. Maybe this. Okay, let's take this as the thing. Okay. So maybe we are at this point, which is meta stable, but there could be a, a, a global minimum that is uh, that is deeper, that is deeper and different. So if we are in a false vacuum, a meta stable vacuum, then the, then the universe is meta stable. And what might happen is that our universe might tunnel out of where we are into the true vacuum state via a process called quantum tunneling. So in quantum theory, a stable or true vacuum corresponds to the global minimum of the scalar potential, which is the Higgs potential. And a metastable or false vacuum, it is instead a local minimum, not a global minimum. And if our universe lies in the only minimum of the Higgs potential, then we are fine. Or if the universe lies in the deepest minimum of the Higgs potential, then we are fine. But if we lie in a local minimum and a deeper minimum exists, then uh, the universe will eventually, via quantum tunneling, uh, tunnel into the other state, into the true vacuum. And if that happens, then everything that we know of will be destroyed. So this process of quantum tunneling is unpredictable. Okay, Quantum tunneling is, is well known in quantum mechanics. Students study that. Uh, so quantum tunneling is unpredictable. It can happen completely spontaneously. And if the universe is in a false vacuum of the Higgs potential, of the Higgs field, it could potentially decay, tunnel to a lower energy state at any time. It could happen spontaneously. For example, we know there are quantum fluctuations in the universe. Quantum fluctuations could potentially cause a small region of space in the universe to tunnel through the energy barrier and transition to the true vacuum state of the Higgs potential, of the Higgs field. And this would create a bubble, a small bubble of true vacuum that would then expand outwards at the speed of light. So this decay would spread at the speed of light, creating a bubble, an ever-expanding bubble at the speed of light of true vacuum that expands outward. So you are correct uh, that we may not be able to detect this decay before it reaches us because it is traveling at the speed of light and no information can travel faster than the speed of light. And this decay of a false vacuum would have catastrophic consequences for the universe as we know it. So as this bubble of true vacuum expands, it would fundamentally alter the laws of physics and all the properties of matter within it. So this would definitely lead to the end of all matter as we know it in the affected regions. Matter will, once this happens, matter will have very different properties than what we know. So that definitely means the end of all life. If, if this is this reaches the earth so that's what this is and of course the probability of such a such a, such a thing so such a catastrophic event happening is extremely small because we know that the universe has remained in its present state for at least about 13.8 billion years so this concept of false vacuum is definitely well established in theoretical physics but we have absolutely no experimental evidence that our universe is in a false vacuum state but <laughs> the even this the smallest probability the smallest possibility of an of uh, such such an end of the world that could happen obviously is is, is scary it's disquieting and if it happens, it's definitely going to be the end of the universe as we know it, and definitely the end of life as we know it. But I suppose we won't even notice if it happens. We won't have time to realize what's happening. It will just happen in an instant.